Moving on to the next video now, we're going to start looking at binding XREFs into your current or host drawing. Now, normally, this isn't the done thing, so to speak. You work with XREFs so that people can work on those XREFs independently from you. So, for example, somebody could be working on the topography or the footprint, and you can just save the drawing and it will update whatever changes they've made to those XREF drawings. Now, binding an XREF brings all of the data from the XREFs into the current host drawing. And it's very, very easy to do. You just go to your reference palette, click on the arrow there, and open up the palette like so. Now, there's my binding XREFs complete drawing, and there's my footprint foundation XREF and my topography XREF. Now, if you want to follow along before we do this, you want to make sure that you open up binding xrefs.dwg from your working files because the binding xrefs complete drawing when you go to your working files will have all of the xrefs already bound into the drawing so you need to make sure that you start with binding xrefs.dwg in this case i just select the xref like so and i can right click on it and i can bind that into my drawing now before we do that i want to show you what will change so if i just hit escape there and close that palette there i'm going to go back to the home tab on the ribbon and look at my layers. I'm going to go to the Layer Properties Manager, which will take a few seconds to load up, because it's the first time I've opened it up in this particular drawing session. And as you can see there, there's my XREF layers there. Can you see there's Footprint Foundation, Concrete Raft, that's the grey layer, and the Topography Contours layer is there. So what will happen is those layers, instead of being XREF layers, they will come into my drawing and just be regular layers. So if I close the Layer Properties Manager, Go back to the Insert tab, click on my arrow there for my palette. I'm going to select Footprint Foundation first, right click and bind. And I've got a choice now. I can bind it or I can insert it. Now I'm going to bind it into the drawing. If I just insert it, that'll insert it as if it's another drawing. If I click on OK, that's gone. It's gone from the list. So let's go and have a look at our layers again now. Go back to the Home tab. Layer Properties Manager, and if I go there, look, Topography Contours is still there, but if I go to All Layers now, there's my Footprint Foundation Layer. Now you'll notice, once you've bound it, it gives these funny little dollar signs. You've got the dollar, zero, dollar. That's replaced the line. The line indicates it's an XREF layer. The dollar, zero, dollar indicates that it's a bound layer that has been bound from an XREF. So if I close that again and go back now to the Insert tab, click on the arrow there, I'll do the same with the topography. I'll click on it, right click, bind it, and I'm going to bind it into the drawing as a layer. So if I click on OK, job done, that's gone now. Notice it's gone bold. Can you see that? Because the XREFs had that fading that we talked about previously in previous videos. So all I've got now is the drawing. So if I close that and go back to the Home tab, and go back to my Layer Properties Manager, you'll see now Footprint Foundation, Concrete is there, Topography, Dollar, Zero Dollar, Contours. So that information now is in my drawing. It's in my current host drawing. There are no XREFs anymore. So all of this is just a block reference. It's come in as a block. And that's basically what happens when you bind it. It comes in as a block. So I've bound that into my drawing.